I got interested in costing because the trust introduced a costing system and started demonstrating Yes, there's very few clinicians involved and it was mostly managers that went. But I ended up going and saw some of the information that was available from the PLIC system that they had at the time. I found it interesting as a way to understand what was going on in my service, what the costs were associated with my service, and a way to interrogate data or get hold of data that the trust had about what was going on within the clinical service that I was the clinical director for. It allowed me to identify variation, it's allowed me to identify high cost users, low cost users, and at a time when we always seem to be making plans to reduce costs and save money for the trusts, I found it one of the ideal ways to get hold of some of the information that would underpin some of the assumptions that we were going to make or be more targeted about what we're going to do. My, my view is it's an information system. I think the NHS is very good at having lots of information. We, we collect lots, we analyse lots, but where can you really see it in one general system that tells you exactly what's gone on in a hospital? And I, I think that's one of the key things about Plex, is it allows me to interrogate one system at one point and ask, look at lots of information all at the same time. On top of that, there's a whole host of financial system which tells you how much that financial journey costs and allows you to raise questions of, if we do something different, if we make a change in the pathway, what are the implications for that? What would it look like? And hopefully that would result in improved patient pathway and improved patient finance. one of the first things I looked at, which was the spinal pathway. We just recently combined the neurosurgical and the orthopaedic spinal service into one service. And we had an idea that there was differences in the patient pathway. And I was able to use the PLIX information on a basic HRG code to demonstrate differences in length of stay, differences in admission prior to surgery, and say to the surgeons, look, this is the data we've got, this is the patient identifiers. If you're doubting what I'm saying, go and look it up yourselves. But from what I can see, these patients are having the same procedure done and are having a very radically different pathway. And I think improvements in length of stay improve patient quality. Because if I was a patient, the less time I spend in hospital, the better. And being able to show them that and say, this is where you are. Now come together as a team and work out what the optimal pathway is, what we should be doing. Explain the differences. I, as a clinical doctor, would be happy to support the pathway that comes out at the end of it. I think the key for any clinician interested in finance, interested in costing, is finding people in the finance team who are willing to spend time to talk to you, to explain stuff to help with your queries and whether that's on costings or whether it's just finance. I think there's a lot to be learned from both sides of how we do business in the NHS, what are the clinicians doing and what's the finance team doing, are we recording information correctly, do we understand what we spend, do we understand the influence our decisions make on the whole pathway and I think it's only by working together that you can improve things and understand what you're doing. And that might make it easier to make some of the savings and meet some of the financial challenges the NHS has.